got a president who wants to rally public opinion for certain areas of his platform. But with his last election behind him and no apparent campaigning to do, why did the president choose Wisconsin? When a politician wants to appear in middle America that almost all Americans watching will say, oh, I can understand that. that that's sort of a place where I could be. That's why he comes to Wisconsin. Milwaukee Congresswoman Gwen Moore says the Wisconsin trip shows the region's importance to the national economy. I think it's a great place for the president to make a visit and make a, a positive statement about the importance of having manufacturers. But Congressman Paul Ryan of Janesville says there won't be much new in the president's Wisconsin speech. If he just keeps pushing the same old stuff, we're going to be where we are right now, which is a bad economy. His approval rating in Wisconsin, whether it be on Obamacare or his presidency, is over 50 percent disapproval rating. And Democratic U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin says the president's trip to Waukesha will highlight the state's economic recovery. The president put a real emphasis on manufacturing and workforce preparation last night. I really think that that speaks to some of the challenges that we face in Wisconsin. Governor Scott Walker will greet the president at the airport. He says he wants to talk to the president about the propane shortage, but Walker will not attend the president's speech. The likely Democratic candidate for governor, Mary Burke, also will not be at the speech. She'll be campaigning.